What's going on everybody? My name is Kyle Papilli and I've been in quarantine for a little over a month now, much like I'd say just about everyone in the world. One of the few things that most people have found themselves having to leave the house for is groceries and food items. Now, thankfully, there are plenty of fulfillment services such as Instacart, Uber Eats, DoorDash, and there's a couple others as well. What's going on for most of these companies is they are seeing unprecedented demand for their services at a time where uh, no one wants to and no one is supposed to be leaving their homes. What this looks like for most people is something like this. On a site like Instacart, where you would normally go to your cart and begin the checkout process, you unfortunately are oftentimes not able to get any delivery times. Now from experience, I can tell you that at least in my area, these delivery times are not easy to come by. I have spent days waiting for delivery times to open up in my area and waiting to get a driver, all to no luck. Thankfully, there's something we can do about this. With the use of Python and the Selenium automation libraries, we can automate the process of refreshing this page and checking to see if there are any delivery drivers available. At the moment one becomes available, our script can recognize that and alert us so that we may proceed with the checkout process immediately. Now for anyone with even a little bit of Python or programming experience, this project should be a breeze. Essentially all we're going to be doing is having a script automatically refresh this web page, check to see if that no delivery drivers available text is there. And if that's the case, we just want to repeat that refresh process until at one point that text is no longer available. Uh, we want our script to then alert us in the form of an audio file being played to alert us that a delivery driver is now available and that we may proceed with checkout. So for this project, we're only going to need a couple libraries. Uh, that's going to be Selenium for the web automation, time just in case we need to do any sleep commands, uh, the Selenium web driver, as well as Pygame uh, in order to be able to play our MP3 sound effect at the end. Once we've gotten our script to pull up the Instacart web page, uh, all we're going to do is write a login script that's going to log us into our Instacart accounts. We're going to repeat this process for things like the email address form and the password form as well. So I'll just speed through this. So now that we're logged into Instacart, all we need to do is go to the checkout page to where we can begin the refresh automation process. What I'm going to do is just go to the checkout page myself, copy the link, and have the driver proceed right to that address. Okay, now that we're at the checkout page, this is where we want to begin the infinite loop of refreshing and checking for the no drivers available text. Now, one thing that's important for this to work is that you put in a sleep statement. What this does is it prevents your computer from refreshing the page too frequently to the point where Instacart will actually block your computer's IP address, preventing you from you know, proceeding to load the page at all. Uh, this happened to me a couple times in testing, so make sure you put in a sleep statement. Now what we're gonna do is look for this text here simply by copying the elements XPath. Once we have our element targeted, we are going to surround it in a try accept statement. What this is, is preparing for the circumstance in which the delivery driver not available text is no longer present on the web page. This would mean that delivery drivers are indeed available and we should alert the user that a slot for deliveries is now open. So when this accept statement gets called, we want to initialize a mixer from the Pygame library, load our MP3 file, and then hit play and let the alarm ring. So now that we have our script working, all we need to do is let it run on continuous loop Make sure you keep your computer's sound on because when a delivery time finally does become available, the script is going to alert us with a very loud and obnoxious alarm sound. Until then, uh, all you can do is let it run. So after about two days of letting the script run overnight without my supervision, I still had not gotten any delivery times and I unfortunately had to put a stop to the screen recording as it was growing to be over 10 gigabytes in size. After about another day, the script did succeed in getting a delivery time for me and I was able to get my checkout completed. So that's about as far as I got into this project, but there are plenty more things that can be done to improve this piece of software. A couple ideas off the bat include automating the checkout process itself so that you don't actually have to stand by on your computer. You can just let it run and when a delivery time becomes available, the script will 
automate the checkout process itself, confirm the delivery, and you'll just get the email confirmation. For me though, this was about all I needed to get my groceries delivered on time, and it succeeded in doing so. I've used it about three times now, and it's worked fine all of the times. I just hope that after this video, competition for delivery times doesn't grow too much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, leave any comments or questions below, and stay tuned for the next one.